Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. I'm sorry it's been a long time but I'm back and today we're going to look at how to use Xcopy in a basic way to copy files, folders, folders and subfolders and files and folders from the UNC path. So to get started click start type cmd and hit return. So in this example I'm now going to copy a file from my external hard drive onto my desktop. So what I'm going to do is X copy the location and then the destination. Like so. And you'll notice that round C uses Josh Mullins, I put speech marks. And that's because there's a space and it will think that that's the end of the command in that space. So obviously you've got to let it know that's all one command. So I'm going to hit return. One file's copied. And there it is. So I'm going to delete that. So now I'm going to show you how to copy a folder and subfolders using its copy. Right, so send me again x copy open speech mark because I'm going to have space in this f drivers L inspire on fifteen twenty five sixty four bit. So see that's my source where the file is coming from, and then the destination is C uses Josh Mullins desktop. And then I have to put a switch on the end, which I think is S. Add it return. Well, there you go, I copied the subfolders, but not into the right place. I meant to copy them into the Dell Inspiron folder, but we did it anyway. So let me just go to that message again and clear the screen so we can see what we're doing. That's better. Let me give me a second just to clear my desktop. Right, so now I'm going to show you how to copy a file from a network path to your computer. So once again, X copy. I don't think I need, no I don't, I don't need speech on this time. So it can accept a UNC path, so I've got backslash backslash WTHD hyphen DC hyphen one backslash shared backslash demo dot ISO and we're gonna copy it to open speech mark C users. Josh Mullins just top play speech mark and as you can see it's copying
And there we go, the file is copied. So I'm just going to delete off my desktop. Right, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next one I'm going to do, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to use Xcopy to a more advanced level and integrate it into batch files using various other commands. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial and look out for more coming very soon.